Welcome back to another Study Force tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to calculate entropy changes in the surroundings. The first question reads, consider the combustion of propane gas. The chemical equation for this is shown underneath. And as you can see, it has a delta H, or a change in enthalpy of negative 2044 kilojoules. We're expected to first calculate the entropy change in the surroundings associated with this reaction occurring at 25 degrees Celsius. So focusing in on question A, the first thing that I want to do is change 25 degrees Celsius into its equivalent in Kelvin. And for that, I'll be using the formula 273 plus the temperature in Celsius, which is 25 degrees. 273 plus 25 is 298 Kelvin. The reason why we want the temperature in Kelvin is because the next thing that I want to do is use this formula, where the change in entropy of the surroundings is equal to negative delta H over T. So as simple as this formula is, I'll substitute this number into the denominator and the enthalpy change into the numerator. So I have negative, negative 2044 over, and I'll substitute 298 Kelvin. I'll even include the units up here where we have kilojoules. Using our calculator, two negatives make a positive, so I'll write down the positive version of the numerator divided by 298, and I get 6.859 kilojoules per every Kelvin. And we need this to three significant figures, so I'll write down 6.86 kilojoules per Kelvin. Now, if you want it in joules per Kelvin, you multiply this by 1,000. So I can even write times 10 to the power of 3 joules per Kelvin and that is the surrounding entropy. In part P, they want us to determine the sign of the entropy change for the system. There's a little trick to determining the sign. All they're asking is whether it's positive or minus. Take a look at the reactants of this chemical equation. We have six total moles of these molecules. So we have six moles in total of these molecules. And in the product side, we have seven. So if you think about it, it's becoming more disorderly as we go from reactants to products. And when disorder increases, in other words, entropy increases, then we would expect a positive entropy. So a positive delta S. In question C, determine the sign of the entropy change for the universe. Is the reaction spontaneous? We'll use the formula underneath here. We know that this number, as discussed in part B, is going to be positive. And this one, from what we found here is positive. Adding two positive numbers makes a positive output. Therefore, the reaction is spontaneous. Let's move on to question two. This time the reaction has a delta H, or a change in enthalpy that is negative 107 kilojoules. And delta S of the reaction is 285 joules per Kelvin. At what temperature is the change in entropy for the reaction equal to the change in entropy for the surrounding. In case you don't realize it, what they've given us here is this part, the delta S of the system, which they've written reaction, same thing. And they're asking, at what temperature is the change in entropy for the reaction, this equal to the change in entropy for the surrounding, this. That being said, I will set delta S of surrounding equal to the following and then use this formula to solve for T. So I have 285 is equal to negative, and I'll replace that part with negative 107000. The reason why I'm doing that is because this is in joules per Kelvin, and that originally is in kilojoules, so you wanna make it into joules. By multiplying by 1000, it becomes joules over T. We multiply both sides by T, and then divide both sides by 285. We end up with, as you can see in the calculator, the number at the top divided by 285 gives us 375. 375 Kelvin is when the reaction entropy is equal to the surrounding entropy. And there you have it, two examples on how to calculate the entropy changes in the surroundings.